Look at the damage a tornado did in Franklin this weekend. An EF3 with winds of 140 miles per hour tore through the East Texas City. 55 homes destroyed. Further east south of Tyler, two tornadoes touched down in the town of Alto. Ariel Placencia talked to one woman who rode out the storm, just her and her dogs. This would be our dining room, big bay windows right here. And yeah, man, that's just crazy when you walk through it. It's hard to picture where the rooms in Jennifer Como's house used to be. That is nuts. And then the upstairs bathroom, I have no idea where that even is. 3,000 square feet flattened by the tornadoes. As it was coming in, honestly, I didn't really think it was going to hit our house. Jennifer was the only one inside the house, but somehow she and three dogs survived. I'm grateful that I was able to get up and walk out by the grace of God. The storm managed to push her house backwards, leaving only the white tile flooring in place. That eave right on the very bottom? Yes. That was the front door that was right here. Somehow in the small town of Alto, only 25 injuries were reported. The cleanup process far from over. Cars leaned up against a tree, entire stumps uprooted from the dirt power lines laying on the ground. And have you ever seen anything like this? I mean, seriously, look how many power crews are right in front of us. One, two, three, four, five. I'm going to stop counting, but you get the picture. These crews have been working in overdrive since that storm hit. The first tornado is the one that did the most damage. Uh, and we're just we're just pleased to be here to talk about it. This is Al Thacker standing in front of his house after a tree fell on it. The whole time my wife and I we're just in that small space, praying to God that everything work out. And as he looks at the house he shared with his wife for 12 years. What goes through my mind? You can't defeat me. I mean, we're here. I mean, until the good Lord take us, you know, we're here. In Alto, I'm Ariel Placencia.